So Palatuk is north of the Arctic Circle, and the table shows the number of hours h the sun is above the horizon every 60 days from January 1st, which is day zero. So it says identify the independent variable and the dependent variable and justify your choices. Okay, so the independent variable is going to be the day. And the dependent variable is going to be the hours. And so the dependent, so I'm going to write dependent and independent variables. So the dependent is the hours and the independent variable is the days. So the number of hours that the sun is above the horizon is dependent on the day of the year. Okay, so it depend the day being January, the hours depends on that. And then in the summer, when the hours will be more, it depends on the day in the summer. Okay, so graph the da data in the table. Did you connect the points? Well, here's the graph of the data. So on the y-axis, we have hours above horizon. And this is a day of year. And that's 360 days here. That's going to be 180. Okay. And the graph looks like this. And basically what's going to happen is the number of hours above the horizon from January is going to keep increasing. And then in the summer, we're going to have the sun. The sun is going to be above the horizon for a long time. And then it's going to start coming down, back down for winter. Okay. So we're going to end up with that. And I connected the points because uh, although I we could have you know discrete days in here, the days are actually discrete. They're so close that we might as well connect them together. Okay, so that's why I've drawn it as connected graph, and it shows us the pattern much better when we connect the dots. So, is this a is this use the table of values of the graph to explain why this is a relation? why this relation is a function. Well, it is a function because there is this one-to-one -one relationship of days. They, the, each day only has one hour associated with it. Okay, so pass the function that, that test that way. If we think of our vertical line test as our function test, if we take our vertical line, slightly differently here. So if I take my vertical line and I drag that across my function, or my relationship, there's no parts where this vertical line will touch the graph twice. It's only one place where the graph touches the that vertical line. Therefore, it passes, passes our vertical line test. It is a function.